it's, it's not just something that's a bit different. This is a new medium. It's not what we've been traditionally doing. I think if we can turn learning into a hobby, I think people are going to really, really enjoy Engage. It's going to be extremely disruptive and exciting times ahead. Immersive VR education is dedicated to transforming the way educational content is delivered globally using virtual reality technology. We design uh, educational experiences like the Apollo 11 experience, and then we also have our own education platform called Engage. Essentially, Engage is a distance learning tool um, that we can use to basically put educators and students together in the same room with digital representations of themselves so that they can focus on sort of any topic that they want. You can have your teacher, you can have your students with you, and you can go anywhere in the world or beyond and learn about really anything there is to learn by immersing yourself in that educational experience. It is going to help so many people that have difficulties with the current educational modes that we use. It's a very exciting new platform and a new medium to explore, and that's what we're doing here. The first idea that pops into anyone's mind when they try the technology, they'd see it as an extension of the games industry. But actually, there's so much more potential for how it can be used. There's a lot of educational experiences you can have which involve some type of game. And we're talking about immersing students who are used to playing games. Well, it is very much uh, the same type of experience that you're coming out of it learning something as opposed to, you know, shooting people or, or something. <laughs> I mean, we're all becoming more and more educated as the years go on. There's just global academic inflation going on. But obviously we have a lot of challenges with that in the form that we can't necessarily create enough teachers to teach all the people who need teaching. What VR sort of allows us to do is bridge that gap and allow us to get bigger classrooms but with more intimate interactions between educators and students. It's totally different to a dry historical lecture. You feel like you're there. You feel like you're in the experience. You can transport your classroom to a different location or a different time and see some of these historical events as they happened. It's a world of your own creation, which is great for educational environments. You're not just limited to a diagram of what it's like on the space station. You can explore the space station and see exactly how things are put together. Do you feel a visceral kind of emotional reaction to what you're experiencing, which is fundamental to how we form memories? Oh my God! <laughs> You learn a lot more doing a hobby than you do if you're like forced to sit down and read a book. The students are engaged the whole time and what they take from it is memory and that's how you get your brain to remember these things. Let's learn it by living it. Being able to use VR is a really vital technology of getting people involved and it completely changes the way you learn things. Essentially we can have a lecturer or an educator use the entire space which is great because it, it gives a greater sense of presence and allows the lecturer to communicate more clearly with the students. Sitting down in the one place doesn't make sense anymore. You want to get up. You want to go out and experience what you're looking at. And then having hand presence as well, it just opens up so many possibilities. Well, having all these together, it really hits like the sweet spot in terms of the experience that you want. The lecturers have a suite of tools where they can record their uh, lectures and edit them and then publish them. So moving forward, the way we want to use the platform is to allow educators to essentially put together a lesson with as much ease as they might put together a PowerPoint. And the idea is they can take their own library of immersive effects or the ones that we can provide and then put that into a single presentation or lecture and then show that to students as they go. And it also allows educators to essentially bridge the gap for distance learning. You really do get that sense of being in the same room as another person. The key tools to make it as interactive as possible is allowing the students to be able to communicate with each other. Some of the most important learning experiences are not only with your lecturers or with even the content of the curriculum, but the, what you learn from collegiality and debate, and we are trying to facilitate that for the students. We don't see ourselves revolutionising the industry of education overnight, because education as an industry moves incredibly slowly. But what we do want to do is try and get into the distance learning programmes to start off with, and then gradually build up more and more rapport and more and more metrics to show that yes, this does work. Traditional institutions um, are obviously, uh, change is difficult. That's probably the biggest challenge for us, is convincing educators that yes, this is the right step forward and that yes, now is the right time to do it. It's bringing fun and interest and excitement and involvement to any topic that you're going to use on the platform. The first reaction 
we want people to have is, I wish I had learned that way in school. It's great to be part of something that you think is going to make a positive impact. It's, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more, really. The technical challenges have been met. It's just a question of showing it to people. And once they try it, they understand.